Hello, today I'm going to do a quick overview of the parts that I chose for my new computer build. Uh, it's going to be a Linux-based build, like all my systems. Um, I went with Ryzen, the AMD Ryzen. I've always been an AMD fanboy, and uh, I've been wanting to build a Ryzen for quite a while now, so I'm excited that I finally get to do it, and I'm excited that this is actually, you know, the fastest, best build I'm ever going to have. Uh, even for the time. So, you know, back when I was in high school, I built a few gaming computers, but this is a price point a bit higher than I even bought back then, so I'm, I'm super excited for that. Um, we can start out with the CPU. So I bought the 3700X, and I chose this one because I've always just kind of chosen the highest priced AMD CPU for kind of the desktop uh, socket. So like I had the 1100T Black Edition back during the Finum 2 days. And uh, this guy, there are some that are actually better than it for the desktop, like the 3800X and stuff, but this is the highest priced 65 watt. So I didn't really feel like going into the 105 watt. I'm not gonna do any crazy overclocking. I just kind of wanted the best out of the box. So that's why I chose that guy. The motherboard, the Asus Prime X50 X570P. Woo! I chose it because of all the reviews I saw, it was kind of rated as the best budget X570 board, which I'm not looking to do anything crazy. I, you know, I want the Gen 4 PCIe and the RGB is kind of cool. Um, I was kind of hoping I could get something with the actual shroud built around the um, kind of like the motherboard shield in the back. Something that's kind of integrated with it instead of having to have that stupid little metal thing that you have to shove into the case. But, you know, I'm not going to spend an extra, you know, $100 just for that. This is just what I need. For the RAM, I just kind of went with something that was 3600 megahertz and had kind of a lower cast latency. Um, I made sure that it was dual channel. But other than that, I mean, I kind of just chose the cheapest one to fit those parameters. For the graphics card, I got an RX 5700 XT. I chose the Sapphire because it looked to be the best rated one that was in stock on Newegg. Um, actually, whenever I was doing all this research, there was a big motherboard shortage. And you can just lay down. And I actually bought the Asus Prime, or not, not the Asus Prime, the Asus Pro 4 B450 board, because this was out of stock. But then you had kind of lost part of my shipment, and instead of getting here in three days, it got here in over a week. So this actually came back in stock, so I ordered this, and I'll probably be returning the ASRock uh, Pro 4. But, yeah, so this, Sapphire is a brand that I used, you know, maybe 10 to 15 years ago. I don't really have a video card brand that I'm fond of. I did go with the Radeon way just because with Linux, the NVIDIA drivers are such a hassle, whereas the AMD drivers just kind of can't come straight through the kernel. So that's nice and convenient for me. And down here, I've got me a little PCI4 NVMe drive. And I'm real excited about that. Uh, this is going to be partially for gaming. I might just kind of test things since uh, I discovered Steam has Proton and also Lutris. I, I ran into that and I might be able to play StarCraft 2 again, which might be kind of fun. Um, but I'm just excited to see the speeds on that thing, mostly for video editing. I want to see what this thing can do. I chose this specific one because it was in stock. <laughs> And I had really, really good reviews. So just based on the Gen 4 PCIe and being NVMe, M.2, that was just something that was right there at 
you know, pretty good price, really good ratings. Um, people were really excited about how much, what was it, copper or something on it? Just the amount of heat sink. And I don't think this came comes with any heat sink, uh, heat sinks for the N.2 drive, so you know that'll be good. I won't have to buy anything aftermarket like that. Then the power supply doesn't really have anything fancy to the box. I just bought something that you know was compatible with all this and over 500 watts for a brand that I've bought before. So this is a Rosewell. I think it's semi-modular, nothing too fancy. Uh, I did make sure that it was 80 plus gold certified. Um, I kind of looked at the platinum and above, but the prices just start going crazy. And I think the 80 plus gold is probably good enough for me. But yeah, the case hasn't arrived yet. I actually got a Cougar, I think the 350X or something. Um, so I'm going to put this in a case that I already have for that, actually that Finum 2 build that I mentioned. Uh, and then once I get the new case, it'll actually go into there. The old case, it doesn't really have any filters on it. It has a bunch of breathable space, but it just has kind of a bunch of holes in it. And I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, at least today. I used to like it back then. Anyways, I'm going to put this in there. Maybe let you guys see a post test and hopefully get some videos out. Take care.